This is the spooky story of the time my hair fell out and led me to have crunchy ass dry blonde hair. In episode one, I showed you guys that I got a wig and I also showed you the history of my long, beautiful hair and how it's so dry and crunchy now. Today is episode two of trying to grow my hair back. I'm going to show you some hair pieces I got, some kind of hair treatments that I got, as well as trying to have a healthier day overall by doing healthy hair treatments, a good set of makeup, eating a healthy dinner. Feel free to watch this video on your day off and also do some hair treatments and some life treatments with me. It could be a fun little activity, walnutters. So as soon as I woke up, I decided it was time for a hair treatment. I decided to start with Olaplex because a lot of you guys in the comments actually recommended this. If you have any treatments to help my hair grow or become healthier and not like a rubber band, please feel free to leave them below. I will literally drop pee on my head if it'll make my hair grow. I'm not kidding you. I am desperate at this current time in my life. The next thing I put on my head was Olaplex number three. This is supposed to repair and strengthen your hair i i have no idea how it does that like my hair has already fallen off like how is it gonna repair it i have no idea maybe it helps with split ends or something after letting that sit for about 30 minutes i went in the shower no shower videos for you guys sorry i will not be naked on here and i did a kerastase shampoo and conditioner i did a mask actually and then i added oil to my hair i put on a heat protecting spray that i got from my hair stylist and i blow dried my hair on very low heat it honestly took forever yes i'm also wearing my shirt in Inside out did you expect anything else from your local walnut the necklace that i'm wearing in this video is actually the in love in paris from my jewelry collection with en route if you guys do want to check it out i will link it down in the description box but the reason why i felt okay with blow drying my hair even though a lot of you guys said don't add heat to it is because a hairdresser told me while you're blow drying your hair if you touch it it's not actually hot so as long as you're not making your hair hot while you're blow drying it it's not bad for it so blow dry on very very low heat because i hate sitting with wet hair i can't do it by the way, it took me 11 minutes to dry my hair when usually it would take me five minutes. So it's double the time. Also, it's really frizzy because I refuse to blow dry it flat and like use a brush. I'm just gonna leave it like this and then put the hair piece over it so that I can like just let it, let it go. If you're not new here, welcome back to the wig diary. <laughs> Yeah, I feel prettier. Like nothing happened. I just added some hairs to my head and already I'm like, okay, today won't be so bad. So I put on my wig topper and then I decided it was time for a little bit of makeup. This always, it makes me feel better also. I don't know why I thought I was so tan when I was buying this foundation, but eha, I am an orange girl, hee <laughs> hee. Uh, this is my favorite foundation. It's by Too Faced. It's a 24 hour one. I did my eyebrows, my lips, and then obviously winged liner and fake eyelashes. That's what I live for. If you've ever been on my channel, you know that I do winged liner every single day and I will not be caught dead without it. Please bury me in a winged liner. I feel the most confident and happy when I'm wearing my wig, so that's what I tried to do today, an effort to be healthier, but I wanted to show you guys how my hair looked without it after the mask and everything. So I'll show you now. Okay, so this is the progress of my hair week one after the hair mask. I think it helped like a really significant amount. This is the back area. I need to stop touching it. I just can't. It feels so good to touch. <laughs> I think my hair has been doing really good. It's nice to keep progress of it every week. Another thing that I do to keep progress in my life is my weight and my muscles and my body fats. This is the Vanity Planet scale that I've literally shown you guys for years. Um, I like it because it doesn't only measure body fat, but also body muscle and composition. And I know some people are like, oh, how does it work? How does it track your foot? It's not exactly accurate. It works on an average of numbers, like a scientific number to give you the best possible results. Obviously the only way to 100% a million percent correctly see how much body fat you have is those like little water tanks. Um, but if you wanna do it at home and regularly see if you're gaining muscle, this helps because it calculates based on an average scientifically. So I really like it because I'm not trying to lose any more weight, I'm just trying to gain body muscle because that increases your metabolism. The more muscle you have, the faster your metabolism goes so you can eat a bit more, which I like. So what you do is you set your height, your age, and your gender. It also lets you set up to eight people on here so you can share it with your friends and your family at home. Make sure you're stepping on it barefoot and then it'll give you an estimated result of your body fat, your body muscle, your body bone density, and also the water weight you're holding. If you guys do want to check it out, you can get 60% off by using the code BFITNESS. There will be a link in the description box, so just click there if you want to see it. Okay, bye. But I wanted to show you guys some other hair tools I got before I got the full-on wig because I know that might be a little too much for some of you guys. And I want to make this whole hair journey that helps a lot of different people. So I'll show you 
some other things I got. These um, are hair extensions that I got before I got the wig and also a toupee, which I have never thought I would be the one wearing a toupee when I had hair like this, but touche, huh? I'll show you the hair extensions first because those are more typical. I used to have uh, really long blonde hair like platinum and then I would get black hair extensions and just attach those to my head. These are blonde clip-in hair extensions I got for like $70 from a website called Look Fantastic because they ship to Europe. So they have like these little clips here and you just clip them literally onto your head like this. I mean, you have to section out some hair. I have a whole uh, TikTok slash YouTube short that shows how to put these in, but I'll just do one really quick. So you just section a piece of hair, clip it in, ugh, right? And then put it down. And then look, beautiful long hair. Um, I really like these. They do look a little bit more fake than my wig does because that is actually real human hair. For $70, I don't know what this is. It could be anybody's hair, horse hair, but they do show in the back because I don't have enough hair to cover it up unless I comb it and tease it really good. That's why I didn't really love these because I was constantly nervous about it. And because there's so many clips, I feel like you could feel it a lot more than the um, halo hair piece or whatever because there's your whole head is covered in like metal clips. So when someone touches your head, they're like, and I hate that. I'm like, stop touching my head. It's like such, I don't know how to explain it. I feel like you're, because I'm self-conscious about it, I feel like you're invading my privacy. But even if I wasn't self-conscious about it, I feel like you shouldn't just touch people's head, especially men's, men's at bars and clubs that like love to go like this. I'm like, I just fucking met you. You're already touching my head. Like, I'm not gonna touch your head back. Mm -mm, especially not that one that you're thinking about, okay. Anyway, the other thing I wanted to show you guys was this toupee. I like literally hate that word, but it's fine now. So this is how big it is. And the purpose of this is just to cover up the hole in the back, but not make my hair any longer. So what you do is you go like this and you just clip it here, I think. I never really wear this because I just want long hair. Like, I don't know what to say. But this one just covers up the top and there you go. No hole in the back anymore, right? So like before, after is like really a significant difference. The only thing about this one is that for some reason it won't become my exact color like it keeps fighting the bleach and my hairdresser said that if she bleaches the toupee again it's gonna like disintegrate like my real hair did so I'm like I also feel like this hair is so short that I look kind of like a Karen like I look like I'm a pissed off soccer mom I mean I am inside <laughs> not that that's a bad thing but I just don't like love the vibes this gives me after that, I decided to make a healthy lunch that I saw on TikTok because that's where I get all my cooking stuff. This video went crazy viral with over 20 million views. It's Emily's salmon with rice wrap situation that I'm really very excited about. I did not have any leftover salmon or any leftover rice. I don't understand people that have leftover salmon and rice. That stuff goes in my house in like two seconds. But basically, all you have to do is cut up your favorite salmon garnishings. I like chives, uh, white wine, salt, pepper, and lemon. And then you have to make some rice. I got sushi grade rice because I'm trying to make this recipe correctly. We have improvements here in the Walnut Chef Kitchen. It's not such a disaster anymore. I washed the rice 14 times. That's a joke. And then I used, this is sink water that's in my water bottle. I would just like everyone to know that I refilled it. Anyway, I cooked the salmon um, and then after that it was time to plate. Look at how beautiful and crusty and delicious the salmon looks. I mean, crusty is not usually a positive word, but in this case. Um, and then all you have to do is build your bowl basically. So it's uh, sushi rice with sushi rice vinegar and then you add in the beautiful piece of salmon call me gordon ramsay um and then you add in some sriracha and mayo apparently you're supposed to use something called kelpie mayo i don't know where to find that or what that is also i was in eastern europe when i was filming this we don't have a lot of variety for different kinds of foods here so give me a break um but then you just mix it up and then you add in some sushi strips what are these called nori and then you just wrap it and eat it it's a very delicious thing very healthy it makes you feel better when you eat it i would highly recommend making this for lunch slash dinner today. Finally, I wanted to show you guys the progress of my hair between the first week and then this week after doing one treatment. So over the last week, obviously my hair hasn't grown literally at all. It also looks so much better when they blow dry it versus when I blow dry it. Also, it looks like more pieces have fallen out the back. I'm not sure if this is the case, but I also know that my hairdresser tried to smudge my root. So she also could have dyed the burning pieces darker. 
um, to let them heal. Um, and then I wanted to show you some new things I got from my hair. So I got this thing called sensitive lotion, which you put on your scalp, which apparently has rosemary oil in it. I know it looks very peculiar and weird. Like, why do you have these vials, walnuts? I'm not really good at opening them yet. I actually just tried to open them for the first time last night in episode three. And I think I'm going to break it. It's glass. If anyone has any recommendations, let me know. The other cool thing I got from Cuddy Fit, it's a brand for my hairdresser i think it's basically a bone marrow mask i have no idea who's bone marrow i've told you guys that before i'm very sus <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> um and basically it's supposed to rebuild and strengthen your hair my hair doesn't feel great after this it gets a little bit gummy but i don't know if it's just gummy when it's wet in general or if it's um gummy because of this but um she used it in the salon it turns your hair pink but don't worry it doesn't stain at all which is really surprising i also got macadamia nut oil which i think is really good for your hair i don't understand which oil is the best for your hair i'll have to do some research and let you guys know as soon as possible and then finally the other cool thing i got is these hair building fibers from a brand called cutty fit so to recap this was my hair at the beginning um really dry really crunchy this is my hair after the chop after i made it shorter then this is my hair with the wig i'm most confident in this this is my hair with the topper that doesn't exactly match my same hair color this is the back of my hair currently and the back of my hair after one week progress when I don't brush it in the right way. It looks like a black hole. Like there's literally, this is, it looks like it's growing, doesn't it though? This is my hair in week two. And this is episode three when things get a little crazy. So I will see you here next Tuesday for the wildest episode you've ever seen in your entire life. Please do not be mad at me. I said this. I will explain the reason later. Love you guys. Watch. Don't forget to subscribe. One out. Bye.